So, uh, a lot of you guys have kind of been asking me before, kind of seen like a behind the scenes video of like how I make my races, you know, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of just the tour of how everything gets set up for my newest race from Las Vegas. So here we are. So here I got my entire racetrack, yeah, this is the basic outline, I got all my pieces different pieces I've used and everything, and then you see I've arranged them into what I think looks like a pretty convincing Las Vegas style track. Mile and a half try oval speedway, you know. Got all this other crap here in the middle. Got a tape down, if I use the tape here, tape down the pieces like I taped this one so it doesn't move. These are still got, these are still loose, you see. I have to tape all these other stuff down and uh, get all my other stuff set up for filming. One. I've seen one, watched one all the way through officially a couple days ago. I was like, you know what? I've never actually seen one of his videos all the way through. So it was breathtaking, wasn't it? Not really. Wait, the only problem with these is you have to, like, sometimes have to, because they're straight, you see. I mean, they're, you gotta bend them up. They're stiff, you gotta. Yeah. Okay, so I finished putting all the walls around this sucker. And, uh, yeah. Took a little while, it didn't take that long, it takes about five, ten minutes to do something like this. Not even, especially since I've already pre-cut all the foam stuff. I had to tear this poor little dude up though. This so this is Eric, and he's coming up. You don't have to announce what up. I'm doing, that's retarded. Well, he's coming up with the, uh, the, the pictures for the billboard. I can say what I need to do. Ooh, fun you. Okay, fine, it starts now. This is all retarded. Right, folks. Why do I have, I'm gonna use this. Since you know it'll be, it's getting close to you know Fourth of July time. This is him deciding the billboard pictures. What you didn't make that clear? You're just like I'm gonna use this picture, and they're like for what? What do you mean for what? What do you I think I would use it for? I, don't, I know you. I, I, well, that's because you told me already. But I mean, like the people watching. Don't. Do you think they? What? I'm just going Christmas shopping for Google images. <laughs> that's because you're making fun of British people. Got the entire finished track. See, everything's laid out now. Decals, everything. Got all of this stuff all over here. Got the entire track laid out. It's completely 130% done. And okay, well, you see, I've got the drawing. This is how it all came out. Looks like Tony Stewart's gonna win one. It's been a while since he's won one. This is the starting line. If I just, I picked the starting line myself. If you see here, I got Jimmy Johnson. Hamlin, Junior, Biffle, they're all scheduled. I decided to make all four of them wreck since they're finishing in the back. So what I'm gonna do, I have, you see I have Hamlin is, the, or Biffle is there, got Hamlin here and I got Junior and Johnson. So they're all nearby, so at least towards the end of the race when they're all in the lead, I'm gonna have them wreck. Just to add some extra drama. <laughs> Filming the last bit of the video of the race. It's all done now. It's only 
took the win. I don't like Tony very much, but, you know, he's got to win some races. He's not horrible or anything. So, uh, now we get to go into editing. Isn't that going to be fun? Now I'm ready to film. Things all look looking good, so I'm ready to record my audio. Voice audio. I do have a mic that I can plug in, but it's broken, unfortunately. It broke a couple races ago. And, uh... Well, it didn't break during the race, it broke during something else, but I haven't used it for a few races. So I'm using just my camera. I'm going to record, I have two cameras as I've established, and I'm just going to record uh, my voice using this. I'm just literally going to film myself basically watching the race and commenting. So we'll see how it goes. Green flag is in the air here at Las Vegas. Heading down through one and two, Greg Riffle slides up in front of Kyle Busch. He gets a little loose. That's going to allow Kevin Harvick to try and take second. They're side by side, and Harvick gets sideways, and Tony Stewart is going to hold him off and will win at Las Vegas. I think that was a pretty good take. Only took me two tries, so I'll live with it. 